And now the details. A suspected Nazi war criminal who's lived freely in Northeast Philadelphia is now sitting in a jail cell. For years, U.S. officials have tried but failed to extradite 89 year old Johann Breyer, an admitted SS guard to Germany. Well, today, a breakthrough. A judge ordered that he be held on a new warrant issued by the German government. Amy Buckman is live in the Action News Satellite Center with more on today's court appearance. Amy. Well, good afternoon. For nearly 40 years, Johann Breyer has lived in Northeast Philadelphia, but tonight he'll spend the night in federal prison. That's because prosecutors in Germany say he was a guard at Auschwitz-Birkenau during World War II who aided and abetted in the executions there. Johann Breyer was taken into custody late last night by U.S. Marshals who arrested him at his Northeast Philadelphia home. Today, the 89-year-old who uses a cane and has suffered strokes appeared in federal court. Germany requested Breyer's extradition so that he can be tried there for aiding and abetting in murders at Auschwitz-Birkenau in 1944. There um, were armed guards known as death's head uh, guards. Uh, of, of which Mr. Breyer was one. Breyer has been under investigation since the 1990s, but has claimed he was merely a guard outside the concentration camp who never killed anyone. The government's case claims that all the guards in his SS unit served both inside and outside the camp and participated in forcing victims into the gas chambers, where about 216,000 people were killed. His um, guarding, al along with all the other guards, uh, who were in that circumstance in the um, Death's Head Battalion that he belonged to, uh, were um, made it possible for those killings to happen. Breyer was allowed to come to the U.S. after World War II because his mother had been a U.S. citizen. His 32-year-old grandson, Gregory Sr., leaving court with Breyer's 80-year-old wife, Shirley, testified Breyer should be granted bail because of his ill health. He had uh, a few strokes, which he responded somewhat well to. He had some issues with his heart and then he had started uh, exhibiting signs of uh, dementia. In the end, though, the judge denied bail and set that extradition hearing for late August. Live here in the SAT Center, I'm Amy Buckman, Channel 6 Action News.